They say if you want to turn hats, you get yourself a coupé. So when Rolls-Royce Motorcars Warsaw in Poland have called me and offered me a car to drive, I thought I'm going to do just that and it's going to be lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Batch. Without further ado, I say let's roll with the Rolls. <music> Forget the V6 today, forget the V8, because today, ladies and gentlemen, we're rolling with the rolls. And that means we've got something very special under the bonnet of this machine. A 6.6 liter V12 petrol engine that pumps 632 of your most glorious, finest British horses. And as we know, the amount of torque is just as important as the amount of horsepower in daily life. And we've got plenty, 870 newton meters of torque to keep the momentum going. Now, I feel very privileged to be able to give you these numbers because I don't know if you know, but back in the day, Rolls Royce never declared any numbers. And if you dare to ask just how fast is the Rolls, well, their response was fast enough. So Rolls-Royce is focusing on the dynamics of the Wraith, and so am I. Yet today I can't help myself because my vanity has resurfaced all the way to the top. Look at this cabin. Isn't it magnificent? Talk about a strong selling point, right? It's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely my cup of tea in this trim. I absolutely love it. This color, Mandarin, so tropical, Aruba, Jamaica, Oh, I want to take ya. The quality of the wood, the softness of the leather, you could just stroke it all day long. This is how soft it is. Their fit, their finish. It doesn't just look elegant, but it also looks very, very cool in this trim. By the way, did you know that Rolls Royce is only using leather from bulls? Not from female cattle, because these get stretch marks during pregnancy. So apparently when you're a cow, you get knocked up. It's over for you in Rolls systems. Well, actually, somebody has to give birth to the bulls, so win-win. <laughs> now, with the press of a single button, we unveil the screen. And what we unveil is the iDrive infotainment system, which is by far the best infotainment system available on the market. Very familiar, very intuitive, and I like it. Now, here, we don't actually have the ref counter, but we what we have is the power reserve. Very roll style. I like it. <laughs> It just looks so it's classy. It's classy and it's cool. Now it's this shooting star roof lining. I mean, on a miserable gray winter day, when you sit in the sky, it's literally like you're touching the sky. It, you literally are in heaven. It feels so good. It feels so cozy. It feels so luxurious. And I could be sitting and talking about it all day long. The seats are soft and just beautiful. I mean. Yes. Now we have the foot mats made out of lamps or <laughs> foot patches haven't perhaps still not taking my shoes up today. Now this guy is not just pretty but it's also very very practical. We've got two rear seats and they're separated so you know not together not it's not a kind of seating for peasants. It's prop ones. It's not as big as the S class for example. Of course not it's still a Cooper but it's comfortable. We also have a decent boot space. 470 liters, which is plenty to pack all your clutter to go to your chalet in the Alps or villa in Côte d'Azur. Now we also have 360 degrees cameras, very useful, but I want to point out that actually it's not too difficult to park this car. Yes, it is massive. Yes, it looks monstrous, but it's very quickly that you get used to the size. At least I'd like to think so, and I'd like to think my neighbors think so, but anyway. The cabin, what can I say? Sensational. Now listen to this. Nothing. 
sublime, just sublime. There's no tire noise, there's no wind noise, there's no suspension noise. The ride in this machine is simply extraordinary, as if somebody was driving directly in the front of you and paving the road with down pillows in silky pillowcases. And let's be honest, we need quite a few of those in Poland, in the UK, and well, most of the world for that matter. dynamic rolls in the range. 0 to 100 is only 4.3 seconds and all of its power is being sent to the rear wheels, oh yes, which is what makes this car very very dynamic. Now to operate all this madness we've got a 9-speed automatic gearbox and if somebody ever asks you to give an example of a perfect automatic gearbox, well you can tell them it's the one in the right. Now, this car is not exactly a car to be driven hard and fast at all points in time. It's not the kind of car for those street piggies that want to show you all their skills on the road. No, it's a little bit more refined than that. Having said that, when you put your foot down in this car, <laughs> well, I tell you, you better watch out because you're going to rise like a phoenix. Now, when you talk about the perfect blend of comfort and gentle sportiness, this machine right here is simply a masterpiece. So, Wraith hides its weight really well. That is until you hit a very sharp corner, because only then you'll find out just how heavy you are. It is a bit like somebody asks you to be a ballerina and you say, oh yes, with pleasure. And then they ask you to stand on the scale and you stand and you say, oopsie daisy, 2,360 kilograms. Well, no dancing after all, perhaps. It's still better than Ghost or Phantom, much better in fact. But if you get carried away on a curvy road, very curvy road, you probably will lose this battle in physics, as simple as that. Now, the air suspension gives us two lovely gifts, the first one being the magnificent ride, and the second that comes as a consequence is, of course, the gentle slight body roll. Now, if you forget this fact, or if you ignore it, or perhaps you're feeling particularly brave on a day and you want to show us all your skills, or the most fatal combination of all three, well, the chance of you wrapping your porcelain teeth around the next tree, I'd say, is very high. Steering here is precise. It's not too sharp and stiff, that'd be tiring. It's not too light, that'd be boring. It is just right. It is such an effortless cruiser, this car. A marvelous, absolutely marvelous Gran Turismo. Look at me just wafting along in soothing silence knowing I've got an angry wolf under the bullet that can be woken up at any second. Just when I want to. I want, I get. It's it just me. I enjoy it. It is me. When you're given an opportunity to drive a car like this, let alone own it, let me tell you, relish this feeling. Because this is one of the greatest pleasures in life. It's just love. That's what it is. <laughs> Oh yes. Some say the direct competition of this machine is Mercedes S-Class Coupe, Bentley Continental GT. Yeah, not quite, because the Wraith sits in a league of its own. For starters, it costs twice as much as the other two. It is quite expensive, in fact in every possible way <laughs> because the base price in the UK is £288,000 but does it really matter? Of course not, of course it doesn't. It's the kind of car that nobody has asked for yet it's the kind of car that everybody wants badly and if you tell me otherwise I simply will not believe you. I mean how could you not want to have a car like this? And if you say otherwise well you're just being mean and jealous, and this is very unattractive, don't do that, please. 
And as for me, well, I've tasted it and now I do have a problem. Thank you very much, Rolls Royce Motor Cars Warsaw. The struggle is real, as the kids say. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.